What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pain because everybody shall know pain. Let's get into it, shall we? Today's topic is if you had the choice to go back to school and choose whatever grade you would like to revisit, even though you might don't want, even want to go back to school, which one will you pick? Now, when I look back at all the, you know, all, you know, kindergarten all the way to 12th grade, you know, kindergarten is always a good, you know, it was always good times, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know, a few stories came from there that, you know, I, you know, went through stuff like that. Um, times you got in trouble, you know, yeah, I wasn't, I guess you could say, full on the good student. Times you get in trouble for no reason, times you just, um, to get in trouble. You go into middle school, middle school's a little bit better, um, you know, start meeting more friends, stuff like that, high school. Stuff goes down, but um, if I had the choice just to magically jump back in school, you know, I guess for like one day, not like, you know, like I guess retake that grade and that type of stuff. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with middle school. Because for me, middle school, um, some, some specific stuff went down and it's kind of like, you know what, I would like to actually probably revisit that just to. Not change it, but just kind of like look at it and be like, wow, I can't believe, you know, I kind of, you know, that that happened to me, that type of stuff. Um, I mean, oh, oh damn, overall, um, damn, how will I rate my middle school experience? Uh, from 6th grade, I'll rate 6th grade maybe 8th. I think 6th grade was not too bad at all. Um, so, oh, damn, I, I lost my train of thought trying to do this with the um, pets. Um, seventh grade, uh, freaking mess. I actually didn't want to throw those guys in there. Yeah, I wanted to probably do this. Oh, uh, whatever. Seventh grade, um, where do I rate seventh grade? Seventh grade was decent. It was, it was not too bad. Um, field trips. Yeah, some really enjoyable field trips that I got a chance to uh, go to. So I'll, I'll probably may, maybe rate seventh grade. Let's say a seven point five. Yeah, seven point five. It's de it was decent, you know, not the best type of stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, because like, yeah, a couple of my stories. Like, I think the ones I talk about. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it is a story. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm uploading it today or it's gonna be another story I'm uploading today. But if I do upload this particular story, is you know, some stuff that you know, that, you know, this particular story took place in seventh grade. And also there's, a, also, there's a lot of other stories that I know you guys would love to actually um hear that happened in seventh grade, but I still want to keep that as a secret. I want to hold it down, you know, no, hold it for like the right time because I know that the particular story I am going to tell is going to be, I guess, you know, it's, it's not it's, it's not going to be just, I guess, it's going to be one video, but it's going to be, a, I want to say a, pre, a, thing, a pretty decently long video, maybe. Oh, I got one day to get either this or this. Isn't that something? You come over here to the mall, and there are no fairy jades once again. But, um, you go into, what, 8th grade, where I rate that. 8th grade had, a, I mean, a lot of fun times. Um, we, we had to take the infamous CRCT that will um, decide if we're going to ninth grade or not. I mean, a lot of people fail because I mean, not a lot of people fail, but I mean, it was so nerve wracking that you take it, and then the day when they get the day when they get ready to hand us our test, you got people like this. Oh, I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. I'm scared. Cause you know, you fail that, you got to go to summer school and retake it. You can't just retake it. Some, you know, later on that, you know, that school year, that was it. You fail it, come back and retake it. I mean, you don't stay back, but you just gotta retake it. Or yeah, you, know, you gotta re I think retake the part that you failed or something like that. I wonder if they will make you retake the whole thing. I don't know. I can't remember for sure. But, um, it was nerve wrecking like a mother, bro. It was really, it really was. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I, uh, back. Uh, yeah, eighth grade. Uh, you know, during the time they were reading, you know, like, like, you know, like, you get more into reading because when seventh grade, no, six, yeah, sixth and seventh grade, I didn't go to the library at all. I mean, we had S we had access to it, but it wasn't something that's like, oh, we need to do it until why did I call oh my freaking gosh, I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> we, you know, we didn't get to go to until like sit on to eighth grade reading books, stuff like that. Um 
Uh, it was pretty good because I was mainly reading one of Goosebumps books. I tried to read like a Harry Potter book, but good lord, bro. Them books are freaking big. So I was like, you know what? Forget that. Um, I mean, relationship stuff that went down um, partly 7th grade. No, actually it's more yeah, it's all 8th grade, the relationship stuff um, that went down. But um, again, you know, it's, you know, I'm not going to you know talk about it right now because it's something that deserves its own video it really does um but i where that but where will i rate eighth grade um overall experience i enjoyed it a lot especially stuff like you know oh uh, you know i could have won me a bike um i could I, I think i think it was the one time i was really supposed to win like maybe what a 50 dollar walmart gift card or something like that something like, i know they were giving me a walmart gift card and i was like one of the contestants, but I was like, oh, okay, they draw it, and they're like, oh, sorry. I had a U3, you lose. I'm like, okay, good, 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 good. It's okay. But, um, I will rate it at 8.5. I mean, because, like, yeah, not many bad stuff went down. It made me, like, you know, the, you know, it made me think, like, you know what, let me just kind of drop down the numbers. But then let me go back to 7th grade, and the same thing with that. I mean, I, I mean, overall, yeah. I mean, I think I just, I think I'll give all of them eights, being in tenth grade, you know, eighth grade being what, eight point five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, very decent. I mean, when you go into high school, you know, I guess, um, you know, everything was, you know, everything was enjoyable in high school, this type of stuff. I mean, never got into fights, so it's kind of like, hi, sorry guys. There's no stories about me getting into fights. Like, oh, Payne got in a fight. Did you lose? <laughs> oh man. But um, you know, since I'm since I'm talking about middle school, I might as well. Uh, what is it? I might as well talk about a few small stories. Uh, let's start with sixth grade. I mean, if I, yeah, cause uh, yeah, stop sixth grade. Stop sixth grade. Oh, uh, there was there was this particular teacher, and dang, uh, I don't know if I actually talked about having a crush on a teacher, but this particular teacher, um, she was our science teacher. Very, very beautiful. Very, well, yeah, very attractive. Very beautiful. Uh, I believe, but I, I, I want to say most of the, most of the guys actually liked her anyway. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, there was a time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the science teacher that we had. She was very attractive. I believe um, a lot of the guys actually had a little crush on her. Um, I mean, back then when it came to science, I wasn't the best. Wow, I don't really have no equipment in the bag. Oh yeah, I sold them. Stupid me. <laughs> But um yeah um back then with science class I wasn't the best you know what I'm saying I guess not struggling but just I wasn't on point with mine I wasn't on point with mine. Um she did tell us I think on um, my my first thing you know first time I ever heard uh what is it, um uh a scary story type of thing uh it was it was the one about the guy with the telly bone because I think I think well it was like some type of creature he ate the tail and then you know he kept hearing noise and stuff like that. That was the first, that was, a, actually, that probably was the only story I, I ever heard. I know it's so like creepy, you know, creep pasta and that type of stuff. It was like a YouTube channel. I could look that up if I wanted to. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, with her, uh, <laughs> actually, I, I have no idea what I want to say. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, getting other times when other times in what you know, in sixth grade, uh, I, I yeah, I, I think there was something we had like free, I, you know, I think, you know, like now oh, I'm freaking out. Let me slow down. I think there was a time during, I think either close, I think either the last day of school or close that last, you know, the, like the, the last week of school, where it's like we wouldn't really do much work, and then you have us, uh, you know, I, I remember on um, playing Uno with a bunch of friends. Oh, going to bond. Okay, I was going to bond. Um, or what? I think so. I think so. Yeah, so studies. Yeah, our so study teacher. She had like um this computer that she only had like, only two computers, and we always we all we would always be on there playing I think a racing game, which was pretty addicting because everybody want every every single guy in there wanted to play the game. Um, I mean, yeah, it's like not much I really can legit remember about. Uh, what is in middle school at all? I mean, not middle school, but just per se sixth grade. I can't remember much from that. Um, seventh grade, uh, I, we uh, they went on a field trip to what? Uh, what else? The um, 
uh, VSU, VSU to two different field trips. I think, yeah, there it is. No, I think one field trip was in sixth grade. The other one was in seventh grade. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it was. Because um, the thing was called If I Had a Hammer. And it was one for math class. And the other one was for science class in seventh grade. Um, the first time when I went to, um, to uh, what, VSU, which was, you know, again, sixth grade. I think between the two times we I went there, so which one was more enjoyable? I think. I think the second time it was possibly, cause like it, it was different. Cause like I think cause one time the one time we ate, we all sat like at this table, and then another time you know we actually sat the area was like you know we can go get what we want a buffet and then we had we all were sitting at our own little table type of stuff. But I know one time I accidentally I messed up and mixed up my drinks and I think I mixed up like root beer and like Sprite. So I had a really bad drink and I was like I am so freaking pissed. Because I hate when I do that, like, you know, you have to be careful. Mess around and be like, wait a minute, this is not what I want. And you end up mixing up your drinks and they taste disgusting. I'm like, come on, man, that's just some bad luck right there. Uh, but yeah, if I have, yeah, the th whole thing with if I had a hammer is um basically, you know, you know, you got, you know, whatever subject you're going there for, either math, science. I don't think there's any ones for the other two, language arts and social studies. But like I think, um, well, yeah, when I went there for the science one, they had us building, um, they had us helping build, they had us help build, um, like a house, which was pretty cool. You know, you gotta use a little power drill and stuff like that. You had to be like very, very careful with that type of thing with the power drills. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, um, with just this with that, it was pretty, it was really, it was actually really enjoyable. Gosh, I mean, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not much I actually remembered from it. Ah, uh, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, because I, I felt like I felt like I should have actually had it as its own video if I, you know, the whole, if I had a hammer thing. But it wasn't much I actually could remember that, like, stood out. I mean, yeah, there were certain things that we did, like, they had us, like, I think, I uh, had, like, two popsicles and did something. I mean, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if we made, I don't know if that, I don't know if we made like some type of uh, what's that thing called? Uh, it's a uh, the eye thing. Like you, it's like there's two sticks and you gotta pick the little um, this little um, yarn goes around all four to six and it's, it expands out. I forgot what they call that, but I don't think we made something like that though. But um, yeah, I mean, probably one that you know again it wasn't the best of little stories that I had to tell. But don't worry, guys. The ones that I upload, you know, that has its own videos are going to be one of the best. Well, not the best. But the ones that I do believe is going to be really, really enjoyable. Yeah, I might as well go into video because, I mean, doing rams like I always do. Um, there's nothing I can do right now. Or right, can I actually? Let me see. 12, 15, 40. Oh, I'm close. I'm really close on that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do over here. I might as well try going and speed through this real quick. And I know, I know the hype for 4 million BP is real right, oh, it's real right now. But how long would it take me to get the 4 million? That is a good question. I mean, Saturday I will be, I'll be boosting up. But I don't think that's gonna be enough. I think I might be able to achieve it with the help of jading and then the stuff from six pack because that gives you more than 10 kpp, which gives me you know this the upper hand. I mean maybe bloodline, but I'll have to save up a lot of silver and then level up some of my bigger souls to get some more you know get you know bigger jumps in BP. Oh, but I do want to show you guys. Is I didn't get a chance. To, I didn't get a chance to show you guys. Where are you? Where are you? Nagato is at one million BP just by himself. That's pretty cool. Cause he had got that when I think I, I think he got it when I leveled up his when I gave him that um trans. I think it's called transparent escape for the speed or the bloodline spirit.
Uh, how many bad space? Okay, I got enough. So, uh, thirty spaces left. Now I'm gonna, yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. Just, I need to get that blade so that I think I'll be done with all my demon blades, and I can then, um, what is it? I can do the thing with them. Dissemble. Surprisingly, it lo uh, the game loaded at its normal speed. Cause I think with the last couple of days, yeah, it was loading so slow. That's not it's not even funny, man. So I'm kind of happy because I'm usually like when a DL and it does that. I think the last my last couple of videos, it's like what 21 minutes. But I think this one, I, I don't know what is that right now. I don't want to check it, but I know it's not on 21 minutes or so 20 minutes. I mean, you know, the length of the video doesn't really matter. It's just when the game is loading that long, I'm kind of like, you know, it's wasting, you know, wasting me time. Sasuke sitting there waiting for me to fight him. He's like, nah, Sasuke, I ain't fighting you yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let you suffer. I want to try and wait until I, um, what is it, until I get 4 million and then challenge more stages. P in PVE, so then I know that's like what 40 that no, it's like 38k more VP spread out between the five ninjas. So then I might be able to beat some more stages. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Gotta do these two things real quick. <laughs> you guys probably heard me hit the space bar very hard. They don't break your space bar, pain. That's not what you want to do. But yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later. Deuces. Yeah.